Kia ora. My name is Anita and I am Neats Marie Reads and welcome back to my channel. Wow, like I had a ridiculously long break from YouTube so I'm back and this is going to be a vlog. Uh, I am currently in Queenstown in New Zealand so we flew down yesterday. We are down here for my husband's hockey tournament for the Queenstown Cup and we haven't been here in maybe five years. It's just really nice to be back but it is freezing. Like we showed up yesterday in shorts, t-shirt, jandals, because we left Papamoa and it was hot. And this was at like 6am we were hot and then we get down here and we were frozen. I could see my breath when I walked out of the airport. It was crazy. So it's not as warm down here. They said that they've had really nice warm weather and it's just all of a sudden gone cold. So that sucks but it's just so beautiful down here anyway. So it doesn't even matter like how cold it is. Normally, for hockey season, it's winter anyway, so I'm used to being down here freezing. Luckily, I packed enough warm clothes for the ice rink, so I can wear them every other day. I just thought that it's probably not going to be very bookish, but I kind of wanted to give everyone a look into the hockey here in New Zealand. This isn't a... It's not the NZIHL here, this is more of a non-contact tournament. After the game yesterday, you know, it's pretty funny to watch, like it's still really quick and physical, but just not hard hits and things like that. Like they can't do that, they can't fight, well you can't fight in New Zealand anyway, but I think there has been some fights, so hopefully I can grab some good footage of some someone fighting for everyone because I know that's what people want to see uh but yeah I thought I would welcome 2024 with a vlog I have so much catching up to do in regards to content um monthly wrap-ups 24 books for 2024 I've picked those I have put up posts on my Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram my handle is at Neats Marie underscore reads um, and I'll, it's always linked below so you can have a wee look but yeah I've got heaps of content to do it's just really hard because it's the school holidays and my kids have been around me every single day and they always laugh when I'm doing any type of content so I just have not wanted to pull the camera out so and I've got a smaller vlogging camera now so I think I'll find it a bit easier to walk around with it. It's not so intense, not so in your face. I don't look like a photographer. Well, maybe. Maybe I look more... Actually, I'll look more like a tourist down here. So that's all right. We are currently staying with our friends. They have a gorgeous property in Queenstown on Queenstown Hill. Looks straight out of the water. And they've converted their downstairs part into an Airbnb. So we were very lucky enough to be staying in the... Airbnb suite even though there's heaps of other hockey players staying here because we're a couple package we got the beautiful space so um, I'll show you what it looks like but we are here from Thursday to Monday and then we go home fly home Monday so I'll just take you along for the ride enjoy
Hello. Um, we are home now and it was an amazing weekend. It's good to be home in the heat. It's really hot here in comparison to Queenstown. We had an amazing time. It was pretty much five days without the children. Every day involved hockey, so we were pretty tired. I say this as if I was the one who was playing, but as you can see, I was not. I don't play. I just cheer really loud. I did some shopping and because I am on a book buying ban, I didn't buy any books. I did read. So I finished off Britney Spears' memoir while we were away and that was amazing. So many things I didn't know about her and everything that she went through so that was an eye opener even though this morning I saw that she has now apologised for things that she said in her memoir I think aimed at Justin Timberlake so I wouldn't be apologising if I was her I think it was probably about time she aired what she's gone through whether it was good or bad I think it's nice to hear her side of the story because I am one of those ones that probably judged her everything she's gone through thinking she was just this crazy person and not knowing what was kind of causing that so yeah I think I went on and on about everything I was learning to my husband I just really feel sorry for her really feel sorry for her so that was a good book highly recommend but yeah home now this was probably more of a PC vlog there's I didn't get a whole lot because I didn't want to carry my camera out every time we went places but I got as much as I could. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will get on to filming all the other videos I said at the start that I would try and film at some point. Kids are back to school next week so maybe I can smash out some videos then but yeah so I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in my next video. See you later. Why are we, why are we, why are we surrounded?